audio commentary done by Kara, and this is going to be the ICL League semifinals, game two of Nemato versus Peach Cobbler, and this is going to be played on Torina's stand. Uh, if you're just starting to watch this series, this is game two. Uh, Nemato lost the first game to a tower rush from Peach Cobbler, and is now preparing for that this game. And uh, this is indeed the semifinals. It is uh, NWU versus VRA. And uh, the second semifinal group is uh, INFC versus PC. And uh, if you guys want to get a quick spoiler, you'll know that uh, INFC uh, does get eliminated and PC is into the finals. So whoever wins this lead group will advance to the finals. And now you'll notice I am commentating on the replay. This was played yesterday. And uh, should be a fairly interesting game. Uh, you see Nemato going for the early Ancient of War creep right at the Merc camp, a typical elf strategy. And Peach Cobbler doing a basic human strategy, going for the Art Mage Footman early. Typical what a human does. And it looks like Nemato is indeed going for a Warden. Uh, somewhat unexpected. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult any build for those who've never done it before, but of course Nemato is very good. And, He's done this plenty of times. And uh, the typical strategy on the Warden is to level up quickly. So what we can expect from Nubito is that he is going to go for the Warden Archer build, where he's going to take out the Merc camp, then move to the camp uh, at this location, uh, making sure to get level 3 quickly. And then he's probably going to harass uh, Peach Cobbler, which would be my guess. And uh, we'll see the scout right here is not going to see the Warden. Uh, Peach Cobbler might be expecting a Demon Hunter, and the Warden just pops out, along with some creeps already being injured already from the Ancient of War. So, it looks like right now Nemato is going to take that creep down very early, and uh, you'll see he is avoiding killing the, the uh, Renegade Wizard with his Ancient of War, so that the experience does indeed go to his Warden. Uh, we'll see the Militia creeping, done by Human, another standard creeping pattern for the Human player. And Peach Cobbler is indeed going to take down his own Renegade Wizard, right behind Nemato, who has just finished off his uh, Ancient of War creeping. And, still, typical Elf action. If you guys have ever seen Elf play, you guys know that, uh, basically, Warden game is all creeping. Uh, Nemato has reached level 2, and also... Uh, Peach Colba has reached level 2 as well. And so you see they're both heavily creeping, power creeping very quickly right now. And uh, another Moonwall going up for uh, Nibito, as well as a scout in the top top region of the map. And uh, we'll see that it does indeed look like Peach Colba is going for the basic lumber plan of human. I'm not a human player, so I'm not sure the correct number of uh, peasants to get lumber. And you'll see that Nibito is is completing his creeping pattern by heading for the shop with his Ancient of War, and uh, he is going to have a second Ancient of War to protect from Tower Rush, but it also looks like this is going to be his arching, archer producing Ancient of War. And uh, you'll see that Nemato is about to attack that Merc camp. Uh, he does build a Hunter Cell, so he has access to that Goblin Laboratory, and it looks as though this Merc camp is going to be taken down shortly, and uh, you'll see Nemato just does that. He will get level 3 from this keep, Creep Camp, it is a fast power level 3. Uh, for both players, both players are taking the camps down at the exact same time, and you'll see that they'll both hit level 3 at the end of this. Uh, again, once the Warden hits level 3, uh, the Warden becomes a huge problem for human players because of its ability to blink out of combat, pick off units, can use fan of knives to kill massive amounts of peasants. It all depends on uh, what the human player, or what the NF Night Elf player decides to do. And it looks as though uh, Nemato is indeed going for a Staff of Teleportation, which is a staff that lets you teleport back to anywhere on the map that your unit exists at. And uh, I think Nemato will use this to advan his advantage while uh, getting... He did buy a Lightning Shield, as the Observer Chat is knowing. So uh, it looks as though another Tower Rush is coming for... Uh, for Nemato's base, and uh, you'll see he does see the for the early attack coming along, and you'll see that a central ward is placed down by Peach Calder, and uh, he's uh, Nemato's quickly going to try to focus on that hero, but he's moving back, and uh, Moonwall looks like it's going to be early game taken down. If they take out the Moonwall, this is going to be a huge, huge for Peach Calder if he takes out the Moonwall, and uh, he's trying to repair the Moonwall. The Moonwall's on very low health. 
the moonbolt is getting hit by all the footmen, and uh, it looks like it's as though even more reinforcements are coming in for Peach Cobbler. Uh, a lightning shield going on his own huntress. He's trying to to use the lightning shield effectively to. Uh, take down the footman. Another Phantom Knives goes out for uh, Nemato, and a footman was taken down. An archer looks like it's about to be taken down with the archer's pike back, and uh, you'll see a lightning shielded Huntress is indeed doing some damage uh, running around the map trying to trying to affect those uh, footmen. And another footman goes down. Uh, some footmen on low health. Uh, some peasants here with some low health, as well as uh, some very weak footmen running around with their fend on right now. And uh, you'll see Nemato wisely getting some Huntress to absorb the fire from the footmen because they do have that armor and health advantage. And it looks like the tower rush is indeed becoming completed and uh, Nemato making sure to be ready for this tower rush by having another agent of war, but it doesn't look like an agent of war is going to be used because he doesn't seem to need it. Uh, another lightning shield being used, many peasants going down for Peach Cobbler. Uh, it does look like Nemato did decide to invest a skill point into, into uh, Shadow Strike rather than focusing on Blink. Uh, I'm sure that's a, a tactical uh, plan on his part, and it does look like he is going to take down all these pieces. This tower rush is not going to be very effective, and uh, Nemato is completely ready for this tower rush. He has an Angel Protector coming up, and uh, this tower rush is going to do absolutely nothing. It's a waste of, of resources for Peach Cobbler to morph these towers at all. Uh, it looks like it, it does seem that uh, Nemato is already getting level 4, so he's, he's pretty much going to run away with this game. He, his base is well protected, and uh, he does have a double of Ancient of War strategy going on right now. Uh, many, many peasants were lost for uh, Peach Cobble, as you can see, and he's, he's trying to reinforce his base to protect against a, a, a future attack. But he really just lost too many peasants. He, he's not going to be able to recover from that, especially with this level of gaming right now, guys. And uh, it looks as though Peach Cobbler is indeed itemming up, as well as uh, Nemato quickly advancing to the base of Peach Cobbler. And uh, he might Ancient of War push, I'm not sure, but I think he's just going to go for an all-out assault and try to take him down right now. Uh, the game should be over very shortly. Uh, you'll see uh, Nemato sneaking in those Huntresses into the back of the base. And uh, he's going to pick off the peasants and further hurt the economy of of uh, Peach Cobbler, and you see another Phantom Knives does go off while he tries to take down those uh, towers. Uh, it looks like he's just going to aim for and focus on the militia and take down the militia to end this game. Uh, very well played by Nemato. Uh, again, too many peasants were lost from Peach Cobbler. He wasted way too many minerals in that tower rush, and it was a, almost an all-in investment that seemed to fail for him. Uh, you'll see a last dish effort attack coming from Peach Cobbler, and I doubt it's going to do anything. These towers are going to go down, and uh, Nemato does get an early level 5. So this is going to be GG right here, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, you'll see this uh, This isn't really going to do much. And it looks like he is town portaling his, uh, or sorry, staff of preservation and his uh, warden to take down all these units. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the level 5 versus level 3 hero advantage just took down that Archmage easily. And as he is working on finishing up those footmen along with his agent protected that he's probably going to start healing soon. And uh, again, this is, this game's already over, guys. Uh, Peach Cobbler has no chance of coming back. He's lost all his peasants, and he's about to lose the rest of his army. And Peach Cobbler does get called good game. And game two will go to Nemato. Uh, very well played by Nemato. Uh, some ingenious play countering that tower rush early on in the game, making Peach Cobbler waste the resources and quickly using the, the pro timing of Warcraft 3 to counter that tower rush, thus winning him the game. Uh, that was game two, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for listening.